have you ever had that moment where you see something and you're freaking out because you can't move. You're on a first date and it, the person that you chose, they let you let them choose a scary movie. And you don't like scary movies. This is that scenario. It's calm relief. Let's get into it. Let me give you a vibe. And let's get it started. Hey, it's me. I'm Jay. Teacher Manager Jay. C. Is everybody to call me? And I'm back with a calm relief. Now, I'm kind of thought about this. I may have to start giving y'all some quickies. So, once again, it's me. I'm Jay. Teacher Manager Jay. C. Is whatever. <laughs> call me. Welcome back to my channel, Darren Jermaine. And we're going with the journey of being funny. So I thought about this. I was talking to somebody and stuff like that. You know, someone new. You know me. Talk to someone new every day because I sound desperate now. So I kind of thought about this idea of me going to the movies. Now, I'm not going to lie. I love the movies. But this ain't about going to the movies. It's always about what they pick. So I low-key always think about... You know, the hour of being shivers. Since I date dudes, this naturally means that I'm let the other dude pick. And so I could be like going to a date and they can make the movie. And what they pick, I'm just going to watch. But I low key find like the last at least straight up three years, a lot of people love scary movies. And I'm not really into scary movies. I'm one of those people that's like, ugh, scary movie. And I'm like, like, really, I'm more of a back away, back away, and run this way. This, like, that's kind of the person I am when it comes to a movie that's scary. So, imagine me put aside my type A personality and let the dude, you know, the fellow dude, you know, decide on the flick. And then I got to deal with the scary movie. And instead of, like, you know, doing the Netflix and chill because this is the first date and I'm going to act like I'm not a whore. I mean, act. So, I'm thinking of the things that we have to do. You know, you have to chase, you know, let them chase just for the, at least the first date of the, you know, the date that I'm going out to the movies. So, I imagine me always being like, all right, dress up nice, hair's nice, you know. <laughs> hair's nice. And I get there, and I'm like, what you pick? Because, you know, you got to ride separate cars. This is that date where you, you still don't know they're a psychopath. You're not crazy. You know, you're like, oh, they're cute and I'm cute. And you're like, something about them I'm interested in. So we're going to go to the movie and not really talk. <laughs> it's kind of the weird little downside of going to the movie itself. But going to a scary movie means it's going to be a lot of touching. And naturally, I'm already going to have to be like, I hope they like, understand that I'm going to be touchy-feely. Not because... You know, I want to be. It's just because I'm freaking out. Like, you know, out of me looks like scary parts occur. I can hold this down. But enemy knows. Knows. Owls. I am freaking out. Oh my God, what's that? You know the black people, they were like, don't go in there. I am also him too. I'm two different ones. I'm, that, I'm the person that's scared, touching, grabbing. <sighs> hold me close. Please hold me close. Tightly grabbing their hands, going like this, holding them close, and they probably like, I am going to get it tonight. Hello, key. They not, but I'm still. <laughs> I mean, maybe I don't know. Could be rob me dinner afterwards. You know, maybe it'll fifty fifty. Afterwards, we go to some type of restaurant that I can eat the food. And they can be a vegetarian or something, but I want a burger. Cause I mean, after all that fear, I have to eat. Just think about going on a date. And you are much of the courage. And you put yourself out there. You put on something nice. For me, it won't be this. It'll be something like, you know, a little nice dress shirt, pants, you know, jeans. It doesn't really matter. Shoes be kind of cute, you know, kind of cute. You know, like color, you know. Burgundy and fakes. A lot of burgundy shoes. Feel a little powerful, you know. And then Mark again, you know, like, I'm putting myself out there. And they're putting themselves out there. And low-key, there are a lot of things that can go wrong in a scary movie. Nash, you pick a movie that's too scary for me, I'm running away from you. Because if this is your idea, date night, how am I be with you like when like a new series comes out and it's everything smacking everyone else freak out? And I'm that person that's like on the on the ceiling looking at everybody like, 
Why, why you keep getting so scary? I'm going to church more. I don't even go to church. I'm going on Wednesday nights. I'm going, I'm going almost seven days a week just to pray the demons away that I see in my dreams. Oh, but this first day. First days are really scary. And, you know, you got to try your best to be the best you, the fake you, you know, put your best stuff out there. You know, like, this is how I'm going to look every day, which really, this is how I'm going to look every damn day. You know, I really try today, but just saying, just saying. But just think about that just a little bit in your mind. If you're a person that's into comedy, person that's into cool, like, romantic comedies, or straight up just a little romance movie with no comedy. I was some comedy because, I mean, romance is a lot, y'all. Action. And you subject that person to something that they do not want to watch. Like, imagine me doing the opposite and I'm going for my comedy movie and they ain't got no real personality, so they're laughing at nothing. Dates dead. You know? Just think about that. For, for those out there that watches these movies, that understands horror of it. And also, look, backstory of this is that I dream very vividly. I still I still to this day understand why I don't watch scary movies. I watched so many scary movies when I was younger. This freaks me out still. I can still dream vividly about what happened that I just saw. So imagine me laying with you and stuff like that. Maybe we got past the first date and, you know, you got, you know, you think the touchy feely where it worked out and I was looking at you a little hard anyways. And now we have been supposed to be cuddled up and everything like that. And you decide to do a little, you know, prompt to let's watch a movie in the bed. All right, all right. So imagine this is a serious thing. You know, this is still like fake me. Because we're cuddling and everything, you know. Mm, in that mode. Oh, after this movie. The da dong Or sleep. I'm probably going to want to go to sleep regardless. I'm like, I got to get this over. I wake up early. I'll leave. Subject it to a scary movie. So that's my whole thing. I'm ready to go. <laughs> For some reason, <laughs> I still stayed. You know, the night, slept, and I'm screaming. Like, what's wrong? What's wrong? The dream I had was the movie we just watched. So that's my fear. Like, that's my, my fear, y'all. That I'm going to be the one that freaks out and they're like, I can handle this. You know, I'm a lot. I'm handful. So, if you understand what I'm going through, when they keep saying they like scary movies, and I'm like, damn, you cute. You may be the one. Oh, you know, and, you know, inner me has G-side, like, yo, you got stomach, you got to do it. But the inner, inner me is the scary cat that's like, oh, I'm not ready. Mm -mm, I don't want to die. That's the real me at the movie theater. The one that, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. And instead, you see me just, so get scared. I'm just like, oh, oh what's, what's going on? I'm like, mm. Put your shoulder around me, okay, okay. Feel safer, feel safer. But until I start wanting to eat popcorn, boys, I'm like, back up off me, back up off me. We're not sharing this. But that's me at the movies. Well, a scary movie. Another movie means I'm not going to be like this. So if you laughed at this, oh my god, give me a like. If you want to share this, share it. Share it with me. And be on my lookout, because starting Monday, well, let me y'all watch this. I'm going to be having y'all one minute videos on Instagram, Facebook, maybe Twitter, if I get used to it. Who knows? <laughs> See you with the next one.